Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Subnautica. So, yeah, there's a new update. Uh, it has something to do with the Sea Emperor Leviathan, so we can go do all those missions and stuff. But there are a couple things that I did in between episodes, so I don't usually do stuff in between episodes, but this time I got kind of bored. And now here's the thing. I would have the footage from that, but it accidentally got deleted. So I'm just going to walk around and kind of show you what I did. So I made a lot more chests and I pretty much just expanded the house and fixed it overall. And the Cyclops has a couple things. So let's kind of go through them. I added more chests. So if we go over here, added more. I also organized them a lot better so you could see a lot of the things are different. And then I also rearranged this room over here. So I put all of our crafting stations and stuff over here they used to be over here and there are some loud sounds and I put some plants over here so I could kinda test out with how the plants work and put the bed and the little dull thing over here and then also moved this around just to quite a little bit but the reason I moved all that stuff around was because I added two entrances or move added one moved another so we now alright suit so now we have an entrance at the back in case you just want to hop in from the back. And I added something cool over here. Also, I added some more chests here. So because I wanted to add something cool over there, I had to add this entrance over here. It's not there anymore. But the thing that I wanted to add, which you just saw, is a little station above the water. So... I'm always looking underwater, but maybe, you know, maybe one day I want to look above water. So I got a little station here. You might also be seeing the Cyclops is a different color. I don't know if that was a feature before. It probably was, but yeah, we could change the color now, which is kind of cool. So that's pretty much all the changes. Also, I know we got communication. So let's check that out. Aurora, it's Sunbeam. Scans have found a landing site on the planet that's only rated hazardous. It's our best shot. We've sent you the coordinates. We'll be there in two days' time. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. And don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Okay. We have to make it there in the next 40 minutes. Shouldn't be hard. So yeah, other than all these changes, it's nothing too exciting. Okay, so I guess this episode will revolve around that Sunbeam arrival. And obviously, they're not going to arrive and end the game because it's just that's not how this game works. But I guess we should go get ready, right? Uh, I think we're going to take the Cyclops, might as well. I don't know how deep it is, but... Uh, yeah, and then we might need some form of like Ion Crystals or stuff like that. And where are those... And also, we still do not have the power charger. Of course, we don't have the power charger. We never have the power charger. All right, everybody, so I made some more power cells because our Cyclops is running a little low on power. I know there's a, like, a little monster outside, but it's fine. We can make it in. So let's go ahead and add the power cells, and then I guess we'll get moving towards it. There's no reason not to go early, I guess. We might just have to wait a little bit, but 29. All right, this one's zero. Let's replace it with a 100. Let's take a look at the other ones. I might just hold on to them if... Alright, this one. I'll just hold down to the rest, because right now we're running at 9. That's, that's, that's perfect, actually. And if we need any of the like the ion crystals, we have some diamond here. We have some of these purple artifacts. So if we're going to need any of that stuff, we'll get that. And uh, I know last episode, we were I said we were going to go to the... Uh, like the dungeon thingy and go through it again, but I kind of been looking into it and there's, It's pretty much just a repeat. It just kind of resets itself There's no reason to and the color changes right here by the way So we can change like the base the stripe stripe two, and the name of it different colors and stuff so right now It's blue and green. I'm just gonna leave it like that, but Okay, so now the cycle is a little bit different you need you you need you need to turn the engine on 
But yeah, so the Cyclops is like super brittle now, which kind of sucks to enemies, but oh well, that just means that we're going to have to adjust. Now the real question is, where is the stupid... Oh, it's over there, okay. So I was trying to figure out where I was even supposed to go. It is this way. Let's kind of avoid things we can get stuck on and just kind of move this way. And then, yeah, hopefully nothing attacks us. Um, yeah, with the new update, the Cyclops is no longer invincible. Uh, they actually did the exact opposite. They made it super brittle. Now, good players... For good players, it won't make a difference. You can find ways to get away from anything. But, uh, I'm not a good player, so... That's gonna be kind of bad. So yeah, I put this in silent running. It's still a lie. Silent running is pretty much the giant lie. Things will still attack you, but... Oh well. Why? Why is this still on me? What is it, dude? Okay, so the landing site is this island? We could chill here for half an hour. It shouldn't be too hard. I didn't bring any food with me, which kind of sucks. But we can just kind of die in the Cyclops and respawn. We might also have to fix the Cyclops since we got attacked. Oh, okay. So the Sunbeam will arrive right here in about 27 minutes. Alright, so I don't know how we got attacked that much and there's not a single hole in the ship. Don't exactly know how that's possible, but I just knocked my pop filter, but I'm okay with that. So I guess I've got 26 minutes of chilling here. So I'm gonna go walk around on the island. So yeah, we should be standing right about here. But we do got a little bit of time to waste. Yeah, I guess I'll just go mining until then, right? The only thing that I'm scared of is one of those uh, teleporty, teleporty squid things. Those things aren't good. You know what, guys? What am I doing? While we're here, we can we can go through the dungeon. This is this is the thing. I'm gonna go get some stuff together then. All right, uh, I have two with me. Hopefully, I don't need more than that. If I do, we can just go get some more. But let's go see if anything actually changed. Or if it just kind of reset itself. Alright, so I'm pretty sure these, like, little messages, we already got them. That's why they're kind of doing nothing. The place just kind of reset itself a little bit. And now we can get these little cubes. But, I do have some diamonds with me, so we can craft them in the tablets. But I forgot where I craft them in the tablets. kind of forgot about that part, but, um... I'm sure it won't make a difference, right? I don't think it'll matter, but I'm gonna grab each of these terminals anyway, just in case the game needs for me to do that. Let's go down and land right here. And we still got a good 20 minutes before the sunbeam is supposed to arrive. So yeah, this 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 thing's blocked out, but. We got some artifacts with this. You can place that right in there. Okay, cool. So this is like the dock to the ocean for bigger things or creatures or machines. I don't really have any idea what that big dock is about, but I think it's fine. But yeah, I'm kind of, like I said, I'm kind of expecting everything to be the same. I don't know what would be different. Other than what is this room? Oh, this is the portal room. So actually, I don't really know how to get these activated, to be honest. Another green blocked off door. Kind of reminds me of Star Trek. Remember I used to play an old Star Trek game on the PS1? Walled off corridors used to look kind of like that. Not exactly, but pretty close. 
All right, so now we're back into the last room where we can see if we get infected. So, one thing I didn't show you guys in between episodes is there was this weird cutscene with the Sea Emperor. But it wasn't too much exciting. It was just pretty much saying, what are you? Ouchie. Yeah, so it pretty much says, yeah, nothing's different. I'm still infected. This place, probably it up it updated the entire dungeon so older players could have, obviously, the new experience. Uh, but we didn't really do anything in here in the first place, so there wasn't really much to reset for us. All of this stuff's pretty much the same. So I'm guessing there's two types of portals, like the main portal and like the kind of like side portal. Only one of them has to actually be powered. I think it's something along those lines. So I guess for now, just leave it alone. We have to find like the portal that corresponds to it or something along those lines. I guess we'll head back up. So there's nothing new. Okay, so I mean, I don't see the Aurora. So. I'm just gonna make a quick prediction. I'm guessing nothing's gonna happen. And then I'm gonna go back in my Cyclops. I'm gonna get a message saying something along, along the lines of, We've been shot down, we're dead. Yeah. That's my prediction. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. That's the gun. That's, that's a gun. That's the thing that shot down the Aurora. Please don't do that. No, 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 no. Don't shoot the sunbeam down. Don't do that. Crap, dude. Attention. Patching in a local broadcast from the sunbeam. I don't believe it. There's someone down there. Aurora, survivor. We have your PDA signature. I don't know how you walked away from that wreck, let alone survived since then. We'll be happy to bring you on board and hightail back to Federation space. There you are. Stand back. We're approaching the landing site now. Breaking atmosphere in five, four, three. What is that? No, the red spike. Ah, oh, jeez. From the spike. Darn it. We almost made it. Yes. If you guys are wondering why that happened, uh, long story short, this entire uh, planet has a virus. Uh, that's the gun that's supposed to keep things from getting off the island and on the island. So basically, if I would have went with them, I would have taken the cover. I think it's the Karar, Kavar virus with me, and I would have killed everything else. So that thing is meant to stop for me to get out. Now, I'm not supposed to know this yet, but I mean, I, I kind of know the plot. And uh, yeah, the one of the big, I mean, what we're planning to do now, like kind of what's the goal of the game, is we're supposed to get down to the uh, Sea Emperor, Leviathan, and Hatchet's Babies, and cure the world. Yeah. But, yeah, that kind of happened, which is a good thing. If I would have went with them, I would have killed whatever planet I would have been on. I would have wiped out everything and everywhere. So that's kind of good. And that's what I mean. Like, even on the way here, we were on silent running, and stuff still attacked us. Like, it honestly doesn't even work that well, so... Okay, guys, if you could look at the side of my screen, I've got the location kind of stuff pulled up here. So, I think the last thing we're going to do today is find that stupid power cell charger. So, I've been on the hunt for that for uh, quite a few episodes, and I usually just kind of look for it to see if I can find it. This time, I'm going to actually use coordinates and go and see if I can get it because I really do need it. I'm kind of tired of looking for it, and this is going to suck. But I think I think we can do it. And yeah, today's gonna be a little bit of a short episode. Yeah, this game's kinda scaring me already. I need to take a break. 
Alright, let's try to head to the first place, I guess. So we're gonna have to head to negative a thousand, negative seven hundred. Okay, so there should be a wreck right under us at 1080 and 35. It should be right under us. Let's get the cameras rolling. Let's kind of dive here a little bit. Yeah, it's that thing. Okay, where's the front of my boat? There we go. Wonder if we visited this before. That looks like something. data box probably means we've never been here before okay guys so I've tried looking for this power cell charger but I'm just gonna be honest this game kind of scares the crap out of me I think I'm just done for now I'm gonna have to find a better way to do this or something but I think I'm gonna end off the episode here guys I know it's super super short but I think it's okay so guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as it supports my channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.